Good day everyone, here's the latest video update on the tropics here in the western pacific on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. Continue to watch Tropical Storm Maliksi and this another uh, tropical storm that has formed. Uh, this one is in the South China Sea, this Tropical Storm Gemi. And uh, right now, but first we begin the Tropical Storm uh, Maliksi, just moving across the Pacific, moving north of the Marianas Islands now. So let's look at approximately 430 kilometers south southeast of the island of Iwoto in uh, Ogasawara Islands of Japan. Maximum sustained winds are up slightly to 75 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 120. The Maliksi is moving west northwestward and at 20 kilometers per hour. Look at the latest visible image system is exhibiting a slight improvement, but overall still very much. Uh, spread apart in terms of the uh, in terms of the convection it still looks symmet symmetrical uh, and, and as i said it's, it is improving and looking at the latest infrared image we are seeing that convective activity is still forming right around the center although not uh, very organized and not very store not very strong now there is a strong convective blob say we would call it a blob east of the main circulation and uh, which is uh, fueled by the uh, convergence in this region and also uh, the fact that this system has very wide I say cyclonic circulation uh, still bringing some uh, residual uh, scattered rain showers across Guam and even the threat for high surf in fact you still have high surf advisories in effect for much of the uh, Marianas Islands as issued by the National Weather Service in Guam much of the actually all of the tropical storm warnings that were issued yesterday has now been uh, now been dropped by uh, the National Weather Service. But still, the threat for high surf advisories and still some uh, scattered rain showers and thunderstorms could impact much of the islands tonight and into tomorrow. And in terms of the rains that fall that fell yesterday, uh, many stations across Guam and nearby islands have actually reached around 30 to 50 millimeters, and. Uh, even Yap Island, which is south of the uh, southwest uh, southwest of Guam, have actually reported nearly 100 millimeters yesterday, due to the uh, monsoonal flow being uh, enhanced by this uh, system's huge uh, circulation. Now, for the most part, the stormy conditions will move slowly away from the Marianas, but will approach the Ogasawara Islands in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. And looking at latest forecast, to begin with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Again, now the system is moving northwestward under that subtropical ridge to the uh, northeast. And this will move very near Iwoto by uh, tomorrow evening or perhaps uh, Thursday morning, depending on the speed here, also the recurvature point. will stay as a tropical storm. Now, yesterday we were, forecast, uh, we were saying that this could become a typhoon by looking at the latest... Um, uh, computer models and also the indications and also the fact is that again system is actually very large and uh, having difficulties consolidating is actually deterred uh, in terms of um, intensification in the uh, next uh, few days still expected to intensify but again not forecast to become a typhoon anymore uh, could become could peak at around 110 kilometers per hour so still very close to the typhoon intensity but in terms of the effects here could move near the Iwoto Island and uh, moving west of the Ogasawara Islands in the next two days as a tropical storm likely bringing some widespread rains and also uh, strong winds and rough surf all across these islands until around Thursday and will eventually recurve to the northeast staying well southeast of uh, Tokyo well southeast of Japan so taking the same track as Iwinir in the pa which moved across in this region uh, past a few days. Now looking at the latest forecast from the Japan Meteorological Agency uh, showing nearly the same track uh, moving close to Iwoto and west of the Ogasawara Islands and again moving quickly to the northeast perhaps uh, being embedded uh, along these strong westerly winds here so perhaps becoming extratropical as you move into Friday and Saturday. Again staying mainly well east of Honshu nothing really to um, suggest this is suggest that this will impact the Japanese islands perhaps uh, rough waves and some scattered rain showers just like what we saw with the winter um, 
last week but looking at the computer models and much of the computer model forecast are taking this away from Japan in the next uh, by as, uh, as you move into the latter part of the week we move on to the other tropical storm this is tropical storm Gemi which is uh, an international name uh, contributed by uh, public of Korea South Korea meaning an ant or insect ant uh, it, was last, it is meandering across the South China Sea, the West Philippine Sea, last with approximately 440 kilometers west of the island of Luzon in the Philippines, or roughly 690 kilometers south southeast of Hong Kong to the north here in uh, southern China. Maximum sustained winds are at 65 kilometers per hour, with gusts of up to 95 kilometers per hour. Next, uh, there you go. It's it's moving it. Uh, east southeastward at 10 kilometers per hour. Now look at the latest visible image. System actually looks slightly better, in my in my opinion, compared to Malik C. It is much more uh, compact. Certainly will help the system uh, gather strength or consolidate much, probably much quicker, uh, so or at least slightly quicker than um, Malik C. And uh, starting to see that uh, convective activity. Uh, appear near the center and also improving uh, poleward outflow to the uh, to the north in fact you can see some uh, improving in uh, cooling cloud tops but overall the system is still again very weak and um, very much uh, in the early stages of tropical storm development the system is still far away from the Philippines to directly impact the country although the monsoon trough that extends east of the circulation is bringing some is enhancing and enhancing some uh, rain showers across parts of uh, southern Luzon and even the intertropical convergence zone bringing some rain showers and thunderstorms across parts of Visayas as well. In fact if you take a look at this Subic radar station this is from uh, Pegasus project now I can see this uh, scattered thunderstorms moving from the south to the northeast perhaps impacting Metro Manila and parts of central Luzon in the next few hours uh, nothing too heavy in, in terms of the rainfall amounts perhaps uh, heavy enough though to cause uh, brief uh, urban flooding although up to the north we had actually received reports of up to 100 millimeters of rain in the past uh, 24 hours especially in and around Baguio City now moving to the south here in Visayas actually seeing some batch of thunderstorms moving from the west to the east impacting some islands here in northern Cebu and uh, Bohol and even into Leyte these are some very heavy thunderstorms which could bring nearly 50 millimeters in some of them could bring as much as 10 to 20 millimeters in an hour so watch out for those but overall uh, the effects effects from Gemi will not be felt uh, in this country for at least another 24 hours. The possibility of rain showers might increase especially across western Luzon as you move into tomorrow and into uh, Thursday system is actually forecast to move slightly eastward perhaps entering the Philippine area responsibly later this evening and uh, again probably moving close enough to bring some scattered rains across parts of western Luzon, Visayas and even into Palawan but as you can see in this latest forecast from JMA they're actually forecasting this to eventually recurve and turn to the west into Vietnam as you move into the weekend and uh, that is also being echoed here by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center forecasting this to move westward into central Vietnam as you move into Saturday or perhaps into Sunday not expected to become a typhoon although um, expected to intensify, continue intensifying, perhaps becoming a uh, severe tropical storm and also nearing uh, just below typhoon status as you move into Thursday and Friday but overall the uh, impacts will mostly be high waves and perhaps some scattered rain showers again across Luzon. Um, much of the, the significant impacts will definitely be situated across Vietnam as we move into the uh, weekend and before we end our video update take a look in here at the western pacific a very active western pacific where we are still watching tropical storm Malixi moving northwestward and also uh, tropical storm Gemi but also look here to the uh, central portion of this image you can see this area of cloudiness moving in from the east this is Invest 97W embedded along the intertropical convergence zone 
this is actually we we're watching this very closely while um, we're not seeing any uh, signs yet of development computer models are uh, showing possible cyclone formation in this region uh, near the Marianas Islands near the Caroline Islands in the next uh, five days and in uh, fact the uh, GFS model forecasting a strong cyclone to move into the uh, Philippine Sea uh, perhaps by the middle part of next week so something we'll definitely need to keep uh, keep uh, an eye on as you move into the uh, next few days here but for now our uh, focus is on these two systems while they may not be affecting any significant areas of population uh, right now may impact some areas in the next few days particularly here with Mali uh, with Kami could impact Vietnam um, by this weekend. But that's all for right now. Continue to check out the uh, JMA forecast and also Pagasa. Don't know yet if they're gonna... Uh, as we said earlier, the uh, tropical storm game might enter the Philippine Air Responsibility later this evening, so watch out for their forecast as well. And also, the uh, Project NOAA website where you can uh, watch uh, the latest radar images uh, across uh, the parts of central Luzon and even into Visayas and Mindanao. Stay safe, guys.